Okay. So let's practice how to do two-way ANOVA in SPSS. If you see, you can go here, Analyze. Okay. So we, we go to Analyze, General Linear Model, Univariate. As a dependent variable would be the change in the GPA. This is an example in the qual we have, uh, we want to know if being female, male, being, if there's any gender difference, and there is, there is any difference between no taking method in the GPA of the college students. So we put the fixed factors, in this case is gender, and no taking method. Then we go to options, and we will move the three of them, gender, method, and gender times methodology. And I want you to understand, this is every, each, each of these um, points is actually a research question. Uh, if you check the PowerPoint presentation, gender will be, is there any difference between the uh, grades in the, um, between females and males? Method will be, is there is any difference between the mean on the GPA, depending on the methodology the person use uh, to take notes, and gender times method will be, the, if there is any interaction between gender and methodology. I would like the descriptives, the estimates of the effect size is very important, and the homogeneity of the test. And voila, I just click OK, and I will have the two-way ANOVA done. The first thing you will have in your screen will be um, the sample size. Here it is. Sample size, 30 men, 30 women, 20 in method 1, 20 in method 2, and 20 in control. Then we will have uh, the descriptive statistics. We have the mean and the standard deviation. I usually take a look at this before I even go and see the results. Just to see the tendency, I can see, for example, here in the total that method 2 is slightly higher than method 1. Uh, I also see that it's happening the same thing with the females and males. Method 2 is higher in both groups. And I also can see that you see this total 38, 19, since that the males increase higher the GPA than the females. This is just the first look. We don't know if that's significant or not. That's the reason we will have to all to the test of between subjects to learn if there is any significant. This is the living test of equality, so it shows that the NOVA is correct, uh, that showing that there is a change in the GPA, the dependent variable is good. Uh, here we have to concentrate again in these three points, because the two-way analysis answer three research questions, as I said. The first one is there's any differences between the mean, between female and male, and you can see here, yes, there is a difference, and it is significant. Um, and the eta square is 22.7, so that means we have the effect size to 22.7% uh, of the gender in the GPA. The methodology, is there is any difference between the three times, three, uh, sorry, three methods they use, and again, yes, it is significant, so that means there is a difference in using method 1, method 2, or method or control. And it accounts for 39.7% of the variance of the GPH, which is very high. Uh, this, both of these numbers are very high. Um, <coughs> we call large effect size. And then we have gender ties methods and it says that it's not significant, there is no interaction in being a, if you're a female and have method one, if there's any changes, if you are male and use method one as well. So there is no interaction. 
and if you continue seeing the results here you will see the differences the between the gender and you will see again that we already know that the men are higher significant in this case now we have we can use the word significant significant higher than females in general in the GPA without discussing the note taking methods and when we go to the note taking methods uh, we can see the difference between means uh, I can clearly see the method one sorry method two is higher so it's more effective using method two depending doesn't matter if you're female or male uh, and it's telling you that yes there is a difference between method one and method two and it is significant uh, there is no difference between control and again this is significant okay good now I will show you how to transform a table in APA style directly from here it's very easy you can double click here and then once you double click and you have these uh, little lines appearing there you will right click and select table looks and you can select academic I will transform your table in APA style but they have two lines here and two lines there we need to delete we need to transform these two lines to only one line so I will edit I go borders and as you see this is you see here it is I want only one line and then bottom only one line and voila I have my table in a perfect APA style now you can also change directly if you want here the names because significant we usually go and put a lowercase p so you see you double click there and that's it